I be like young Zachary? Tell me what he do. You know what it is. Hey, hey, hey. And I be like young Zachary. She go pee tell me what he do. Why don't you already know it's the most handsome talk me until I be self, you understand me, goddamn me. You know yeah. goddamn man, when she go pee, you understand me, goddamn me. Yeah, goddamn me. Talking about your ten. Man, let's start from the motherfucking top. Nah, Where man. the fuck are you from for the people that don't know? I'm from 10 11 North Jacks. Jacksonville, Texas. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. North Jacks, Texas, you know what I'm saying? It's life, that's a way of life. And where I'm from, 903 East 6 stand the fuck up, you understand me? Hey, yeah, man, the man, he knocking the motherfucking doors down for the East Texas, goddamn me. How does it feel to be just, like, you You got a lot of success off, off one song, like, just speak about it, bro. Shit, before I say shit, it's just me knocking the doors down, shit, it's me and the team, you feel what I'm talking about? Yeah. Shit, hey, without them, I wouldn't be shit, like, pushing the motivating nigga, you understand me, but shit, it feels a blessing. I feel like it needs me to be heard though, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So they're running from they're running from the top, like yeah. how did it even like how did the song get going? Like like what was the what was the first first thing to to to, to make you say like this may be the one? Uh shit, we going back to prior to the tape drop. That was the first single. Yeah. That hoes out of Sweet Union original. Yeah. That hoes twenty nineteen. Yeah. Uh, my partner Jalen, you know what I'm saying? He was like, Man, I, I was trying to pick a single, but yeah. I wanna push out. He was like Tempo hard in the bitch. I think you need to move. You know what I'm saying? Don't push. Yeah. I like, I bet. So we pushed that out first for the tape game. Yeah. Got a little buzz in the trash in the city. You know what I'm saying? In the east and shit. They just started fucking with it. We finally got on the radio a little bit. I did little shows and shit. I don't know. Spotify just picked up. Yeah. Picked up hard on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, just over the over the last course of the, like six to eight months, like. The song Temper is is been growing like that motherfucker is like damn near officially go like how does it feel to be like this your first song to ever do something to that magnitude? I don't even know how to feel. Shit. <laughs> I don't even know how to feel. But uh, by the time this motherfucker come out, it's gonna be. I mean, I'm going to see it. It is go Temper go. You understand me? Yeah. Uh, it's a blessing though. I can say that shit. I ain't. A nigga had dreams of this shit, that's what you was supposed to be in it for, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to goddamn reach new milestones, new heights and this shit, but it yeah. just wasn't happening that quick. It yeah. just, I don't know. That shit crazy. Yeah, yeah. Feel and me. I and I and I know like you you been you been doing the music and shit like yeah. what was like what what did you grow up on? Like was you on Houston uh Houston artists, was you on Dallas artists, like what was you on in East Texas like? Anything Texas, you feel what I'm saying? Anything in Texas goddamn UGK, you know what I'm saying? Screwed up, click, switch eyes. Of course, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna listen to Young Nation and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna see Diddy Bob music, you wanna get out there and turn up. Yeah. But I had uncles and shit that rap too, so I would listen to them. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But anything in Texas, damn sure. So. Any artists in particular, like from that era, I'm, like. What, Zero? My yeah. nigga, I love Rope. Like, yeah. to this day, like, Rope. Like, yeah. My favorite Texas artist, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, like, you got any uh, new music coming out with Zero or what? Nah, I ain't really. I ain't got no chance to meet him yet. You know what I'm saying? But like it's a time and a place for it. But I damn show, damn show, want to do some work with him. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, this this may be a, like a, a super crazy question, but like, why rap? Why not nothing else? Like, like why why did you choose rap? And she was rap for a while. Yeah, I was good. I went from the key. Hell, nah, I just can't see myself. Oh, uh, really just. Sitting down and putting out this time going to a goddamn. I'm, I, I'm not knocking it for anybody else who's doing it. You feel me saying? But I can't see myself sitting down, putting in all this time, wasting all this time, and just studying, putting mental time into it. Really just stressing myself out behind, trying to pass some classes and study and learn some shit just for me to get this piece of paper. And I might not even go get a job in that field. And if I do, just for my life to be in another nigga hands, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Just for a nigga to wake up and be on the bad side of the job, you know what I'm saying? I can have a spread, I can have a flat and be 15 minutes late. Yeah. And he, the boss, mad because his wife done cheated on him last night and I'm late and he ain't trying to hear that shit, he fired me. How yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pay my bills, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, I'm vulnerable because he got the upper hand. Yeah. I don't want to be vulnerable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how I look at that shit. It's gonna be rapping the football. It wasn't we wanted, bitches. I'm gonna do something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, just speak on the game, bro. Like, the, the state of the game. Like, a lot of artists are getting locked up. A lot of artists are getting jammed up. A lot of artists are, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, they, 
like niggas is going with they move. Like just speak about like what's your standpoint on the game? Like what do you want to be? What do you see yourself in the game? Like do you or you feel like you're gonna be a staple? You feel like you're gonna be a goat? Feel like you just gonna be the guy in the corner who just make his money? Like what do you see yourself? Shit, once I said it done, I'm living legend for shit, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to be. That's what, yeah. that's what it is. Like, I'm really going to be one of them, especially coming out of Texas. Yeah. Like, damn, so I'm going to be the E6, great. Yeah. But Texas, they going to understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be one of them. Yeah. Not to be played with. So. Yeah, yeah. And I know, like, when it comes to Texas, bro, like, you were one of those few people that, you know, you, um... You don't get talked about a lot, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to like the media and the blogs, like why do you feel like it like like it's that for you? Probably cause I ain't popular though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that probably But the be. numbers though, like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like let's go all back to the numbers, like you damn near did like fifty million on Temple alone, like Cause I ain't trying to be like everybody else. I ain't moving like how everybody else move. I'm doing I'm breaking my own starting my own way, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm breaking the cycle. I ain't I don't get on there and do the same gimmicks that everybody else do. Yeah. So it ain't gonna check everybody, you feel me? Yeah. And seeing see you see you on and off camera, bro, like it's like you got a whole different type of energy. Like, where does that come from? Being yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Nothing about nothing less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and speak on the dog ties, like what like how how did that even come about? Like is that is that a, is that a group? Is that the fam? Is that like 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 how, how, how could a, how could how could a, a fan get in dog time? You can't. It's a family thing. It's a family business. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a whole goddamn empire. You see me? It's a dynasty. Yeah. But you know what? If that fan happened to be a, a worker that could benefit us, and we can help them. He help us help you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? It might be applications opening up real soon. Just keep a lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm big CEO. Besides me, my other partner downstairs sleep. Mark Johnson, that's my manager. The Mark Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Twenty twenty two, we taking jobs. You know what I'm saying? Office for sure. Hey, yeah. And like with your type of music, bro, like you don't have like a hundred percent club driven music. Like, just speak about like your difference, like the difference between your music versus you know the typical artist. Like, describe it for somebody that's never heard your music. It's that Boogie Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> you only get that, you know what I'm saying? It's only me. You only gonna get it on this street. You yeah. can go over there to the other side of the street where everybody doing the same shit on the same block. You come on, you take that left and take that right. Now everything right. We don't go to let everything real righteous. So when you take that right and hit that other right, and you go down this street of Boogie Avenue, it's a whole other lane. That's what that is. But nah, I feel like to be real, to answer your question, I just can't see myself going to to the studio. Yeah. Sitting with a producer. Yeah. Knowing what's, what's club bangers and looking at the producer in his face and be like, I want to be like this song. I want to be like this song. Yeah. Because I'm going to make a song like this because they're going to play it in the club. That's how niggas do. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to play something, it's going to be because it's organic. Yeah. It's going to be so hot the fact that the numbers going to show you're going to have to play it in the club anyway. Regardless yeah. if it's a club banger you think it or not, you still yeah. going to have to play it. That's how I'm going to play it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So would you rather be hot in the streets or hot on the internet? I want to be hot on the charts. Fuck out this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck out that clap shit. I'm going with the numbers that on the back end. Like, yeah. I don't give a damn about the clap. Yeah. Numbers, I, numbers match up on the back end shit. We feel good. Yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah. that's how I got to look at it since I ain't popular right now. Yeah. yeah. Now, I ain't going to lie. Like, in the industry, like, man, I see you got... Super big features, bro. Like you got a feature with Gates. Um, you got a lot of shit, like a lot of big producers and shit linked in. Would you just speak about that? Like, how did that come about? Well, Gates shit. I ain't gonna. I'm still. I'm surprised that Gates shit. The way the play got set up. Yeah. Which when he heard the song, you know, I ain't think. I ain't even know. It was just like a surprise. Yeah. Then Gates came with three verses on that bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I picked the best one. I'm like, hell no, nah, I gotta pick the best one. I had to redo my verse over. Damn. Yeah, 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 we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he ran that hoe though, but I fuck with Gates, bro. I appreciate him for showing sure. love, though. Gates a real nigga. Out of everything, like from the features, from, from the song blowing up, from Tampa blowing, 
going, going down there, go where his go, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Out of everything, like, what's one of the most surprising things? Like, damn, I didn't know this shit was really like this. Like, what's one thing that you was like, damn, I didn't know it was really like this? Politics. Politics. That's it. What you, when, you, when you say politics, like, the people or the fans? Or? Shit, everything. Yeah. Everything. People, fans, shit, other artists. Yeah. Shit, politics. Shit, crazy. Yeah. But shit is what it is. Yeah. I say to myself, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you feel like you gotta play the, play the politics to uh to 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 have a hit record, or do you feel like a hit record comes comes with just you know natural talent? It depends on your situation. You get people who got natural talent who got hit records. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying. Sometimes when politics set you up for the win. Yeah, the best shit. What's best for you? A high ability really just the outcome of it, just what it presents. You know what I'm saying? Do you do you feel like a lot of artists who don't have a hit song and have no talent, they they try to play the politics and the gimmicks and shit like that to get going? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I ain't got no damn talent. I can't. I ain't got shit going. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm clap chase. I'm gonna do something. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I yeah. guess that's how they look at it. Personally, I don't know nothing about it. But I guess I, what's your what's your intake on the motherfuckers who you know cloud chasing like they shooting motherfuckers are going to jail for X Y and Z like how do you feel like how do you feel like do you feel like they you know what I'm saying do it's it? too much money and pussy out here for you to be mad at another man go ahead and get your bag get your little old love or whatever you got going on yeah. you know eat the bone out the gristle yeah and just be happy why you worried about what the next man got going on why you mad at him because he he feed his family. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, he yeah. doing what he love to do. Yeah, hey, yeah, man. That's all I can say. So with it all boiled down, man, you got any new projects, any new, any new, any new music on the way, like singles? Yeah, Squid Game on the way. Squid Game. Yeah, I'm taking advantage of that. That's a project, a single. Yeah, it's a single. Single. Yeah, hey, yeah. Then I'm gonna follow that with another single, but the tape, Who Is Boogie, is coming up in a few months. Okay, bet, bet, yeah. bet, bet, bet. Before we get out of here, man, let the people know who you locked in with right now. Man, I'm locked in with this one. Hey, the one and the only. You know, yeah. Godly made one goddamn look. Uh, Zach the DJ, you understand me? Goddamn me. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't you Big Heavy Camp? Yeah, Big Heavy Camp. <laughs> big Heavy Camp, the dog tied. You know, it's real nigga. Alright, bet. That's a bet. Let's get it. Boop, boop.